Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reading you my favorite poem. So please come along for the ride because it's pretty powerful stuff. It was written by an 85 year old woman named Nadine Stair. It is simply called, If I Had My Life To Live Over. If I had my life to live over, I'd dare to make more mistakes next time. I'd relax. I would limber up. I would be sillier than I have been this trip. I would take fewer things seriously. I would take more chances. I would take more trips. I would climb more mountains and swim more rivers. I would eat more ice cream and less beans. I would perhaps have more actual troubles, but I'd have fewer imaginary ones. You see, I'm one of those people who live sensibly and sanely hour after hour, day after day. Oh, I've had my moments, and if I had it to do over again, I'd have more of them. In fact, I'd try to have nothing else. Just moments, one after another, instead of living so many years ahead of each day. I've been one of those people who never go anywhere without a thermometer, a hot water bottle, a raincoat and a parachute. If I had my life to live over, I would start barefoot earlier in the spring and stay that way later in the fall. If I had to do it again, I would travel lighter next time. I would go to more dances. I would ride more merry-go-rounds. I would pick more daisies. This is one of my favorite poems of all time simply because it's written by such an old woman, but she's speaking so childish, <laughs> so childlike. And I think it's proof that although we are given the label of adult, when we surpass the age of 18 in England and 21 in America, that it is just simply that, a label. It doesn't mean anything. And people mature at different times, at different ages, and you can get some 50 year olds who are more childish than some 20 year olds. It's all about how you are inside. And this world can make us so serious all the time. And we forget how to be childlike. We forget how to be silly. We forget what actually makes us happy. And by us, I don't mean the person that you have created yourself to be, the character who you identify as. I mean the real you, the you before you were slapped with all these different labels, told who you are and who you should be, what direction you should go in life because this person did it or your dad did it. I'm talking about the real you, the one who loves to swim in rivers, the one who loves to climb mountains, the one who loves to eat ice cream on a Sunday evening childlike essence that is within us all. And one of my favorite lines in this poem is when she says, I would perhaps have more actual troubles, but I'd have fewer imaginary ones. I think that's my favorite line in the whole thing because how many of us suffer inside of our head? I mean, Think about what's happening in your life right now, right this second while you're watching this video. Nothing, nothing bad is happening. You've got nothing to worry about right now. You might in the future, and you might have had worries in the past, but we spend too much time in the future and too much time in the past, too many imaginary places that don't even exist. When you're present, when you focus on the here and now, you realize that There's nothing to worry about. Nothing bad is happening right now. It might in the future, but right now, nothing is happening. And that's what she's talking about here in this poem, saying, I'd have fewer imaginary problems because she'd be out more doing things. And look, there's nothing wrong with living a simple life, finding a career that you enjoy, doing that job Monday to Friday, building a family, coming home to that family every day, making memories with your children, you know, holidays, weekends, evenings, enjoying those times and then focusing on your job and taking life nice and easy. 
There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to be anything. There's no expectations of you. The only person who puts an expectation on you is yourself. And there's nothing wrong with living how she lived. However, it is interesting that she says, I lived a very safe life. I lived a very simple, protected life. Just living day after day. Whereas when she's 85 years old, she looks back and she says, if I could do it again, I'd swim more, I'd be barefoot, I'd run around in the woods, I'd pick more daisies, I'd ride more merry-go-rounds, I'd be more childish. And this is the one thing that I think every adult secretly wants to do, but they don't because they're scared that they won't be taken seriously if they do. And that's to be more childlike, to be more childish, to be more silly, to have fun, to go out and do something on a whim, climb a mountain, swim in a river. These are the most cherished moments that I have. You know, I remember a camping trip that I did with my friend recently. I remember going for a walk down the riverbank with my partner. I remember the smells, I remember the sunset, I remember going to the beach and swimming in the waves. If I hadn't have done that this year, I'd never remember that beautiful memory. If you ask me the last 10 things I ordered on online, on Amazon, on eBay, the last 10 things I couldn't tell you. But if you ask me to list 10 things that I did over the past 10 weeks that involved, you know, getting outdoors, being around friends and family, I could easily list what I've done in the last 10, 12 weeks that have included friends and family and actual experiences because we remember them, we cherish them, we hold on to them. But I couldn't tell you the last 10 Instagram posts I saw. I couldn't tell you the last 10 things that I ordered to my front door because these things ultimately in the end don't matter. What matters are memories. What matters are experiences. What matters is being your true authentic self. So never be afraid to go out in the rain without that umbrella. Never be afraid to do something on a whim. Never be afraid to book that holiday. Even if you think, I can't really afford it right now, you go for it because you're gonna remember that holiday for the rest of your life. Do it as often as you can. Plan short little breaks. Get out in nature as often as you can. Go for walks as often as you can. Laugh as often as you can and stop making imaginary scenarios your existence because that is living in a fantasy land which only ever leads to despair and regret. Live your life, be happy and do it in whatever way works for you. You don't have to be anyone. There are no expectations on you. Whatever you're doing right now is what you're supposed to be doing. But make those memories. Say yes to that friend. Say yes to that holiday. Say yes to that hike. Because these, is, these are the things that we're gonna remember on our deathbeds. Thank you for watching. God bless. I'll put the link to the poem in the description.